Hi, I'm Jody. And I'm Sarah. And we love going down a real rabbit hole. Finding out the stories behind weird stuff we see on the internet. Mm -hmm. I saw something interesting on the internet the other day. Of course you did. Uh, <laughs> so I was scrolling Twitter late at night and I saw what looked like a really realistic baby doll of the Na'vi from Avatar directed by James Cameron. If you're not familiar with it, I don't know why you wouldn't be. Get familiar. I feel like when I saw the Avatar baby, I should have been like, of course that's a thing that exists on the internet. It feels like it's late for an Avatar baby. Well, who is the market for this doll? Why does it exist? We're just gonna show you a picture. Okay. I wanna get your reaction to it. <laughs> it's, what? Is it real? And it's, um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Those tails look real though. I, I, there are so many questions. Did somebody paint these babies? So they're actually yeah. not real babies. Are you serious? Oh, it's a doll? What did you think it was? <laughs> I thought people painted their babies. <laughs> that is such an impressive job that someone has done. But also I'm really happy it's not babies. It's pretty creepy, but I also kind of want one. I don't want it to touch me, but it is kind of cute. Well, we did some research and the story behind these dolls is actually really surprising. These are one of a variety of hyper-realistic dolls called Reborns. The original Reborns are designed to look like real human babies and not Na'vi. There's a huge online community for these dolls and for the people who own them, and they aren't cheap. This isn't your average doll. The price of a Reborn can range anywhere from $200 to $3,000 and up, with the most high-quality dolls starting around $1,000. I guess it makes sense looking at them. It's not the same kind of doll that you're buying for your kid. They look like almost like high quality movie props. You just have to wonder, what is it about them that are making people spend thousands of dollars on these dolls? And you know? they're like sold out. There's a high demand for these dolls. It's really easy to scoff at such a high price for what most people would assume is just a fancy toy. But these dolls serve a very real purpose. For many people, they're a tool for working through trauma and loss. What's special about these dolls is that they are extremely realistic in appearance. They even weigh the same as a real baby. Many people believe it is soothing to hold or take care of a baby, and these dolls can provide that comfort. The dolls have been known to help people who suffer from dementia, Alzheimer's, and depression. Some people may own them as a way to remember a child they have lost. Others own them as a way to compensate for not being able to have children. There are a variety of reasons someone may own a Reborn, but most of them are deeply sentimental and meaningful to their owner. I think that's something that was really surprising for us, because you see an Avatar baby and on a surface level. And you're level, like, I'm gonna make fun of this. I, a lot of people yeah. that we talked to did. And then you kind of feel like a jerk when you realize there's a deeper story there. I think like when you see something that you don't understand, your first instinct is to be like, well, I wouldn't buy that, so it's dumb. Or like, I don't understand that so I'm gonna make fun of it. I was really surprised to learn that like these provide a real purpose. They can be really therapeutic for people. I think it also makes a lot of sense because people instinctually want to care and nurture something. Mm. How did we get from the realistic human baby dolls to the Navi dolls of yes. the world. One of the more popular ones was made by a company called Babyclon, and according to their website, it's actually licensed by 20th Century Fox. Which, I guess because it's on the internet and on their website, like it really does look official and I'm willing to believe it, but I'm very surprised 20th Century Fox was like, love that, stamp. Why not? Give me a cut of those babies. I can't believe that they are officially licensed. I also can't believe I said, give me a cut of those babies. I hate that <laughs> phrase already. <laughs> But Navi babies are not the only pop culture themed dolls on the market. We did some Googling, as you do, and found there are a ton of these pop culture and fantastical reborns. There are werewolves, dragons, aliens, Shrek, Freddy Krueger, it. You can even get custom baby dolls made to look like your favorite character. If you can dream it, you can doll it. If you can dream it, you can doll it. If you could have any pop culture themed baby or monster themed baby, what mm. would it be? All mm. I know is that I absolutely don't want the Pennywise baby because that would haunt all my dreams. Artistically beautiful, impressive, <laughs> stunning, emotionally Gorgeous. terrifies me. So there's a lot of dolls out there. There's a lot more than just the Avatar doll. I still have a lot of questions about them. Well, I don't have the answers, but I found someone who does. Oh. Could you quickly for me just state your name and who you are? 
Okay, hi, I'm Azita Gonzalez of Cosmic Encounters Nursery, and I make Fantasy Reborn dolls. Can you tell me a bit about how you got started doing that? I used to have an eBay store, so I was always on eBay, and I've always had a love for dolls. I came across a Reborn doll for the first time. I was like, what is this? <laughs> It looks so real. I got started with aliens, of all things. <laughs> I came across this vintage alien doll. <laughs> and I thought, you know, that might look cute as a baby. <laughs> and people actually liked it. So this is a... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is a fully painted uh, fantasy baby doll. How long did that doll take you to make? It's usually more like a four to 10 week length of time to complete a doll. Wow. What do you think it is that people love about these dolls? Sometimes people want a specific doll to take to a convention. Some people use them for cosplay. A lot of times the people that want the more human doll, they're wanting it for more of a therapeutic reasons. But I also see that with the fantasy dolls. Really? Yes. I think there's this innate human nature to find a baby adorable, like you want to nurture it. What do you think is something about reborn dolls or the reborn community that people don't know that you wish they did? There's a lot of judgment that these people are um, subjected to. Each individual has their own story. Some people even, you know, this helps them to cope with the loss of a child. I've had people take these into the hospital with them when they're getting chemotherapy. Just as you can receive a therapeutic response from, you know, petting an animal. It's the same thing with holding one of these dolls. You know, just be kind. It seems like the reason people buy them, it, it really depends. And there's a lot of different reasons why people do, but at the end of the day, they seem to make people happy. I don't think it's for me, but that kind of doesn't matter. If your thing makes you happy, you should not be ashamed of it. You know, life is short, the earth is terrible. That's fair. We as people have bigger fish to fry. Seems like you can make a lot of money making them. Let's brainstorm if okay. you open a store what it would be called. Sarah's Slimy Babies. Why slimy? Just Because they're alliteration, yeah. What else could it be? Several babies. Sarah's several babies. We only carry several babies at a time, but get your checkbooks ready, because they're coming.